Hey, distance seekers like me, I hope you're watching because in this video, I'm gonna give you a really great move that I think is gonna help you be able to squeeze, I don't know, 10, 20, maybe 30 extra yards out of your drives. Seems impossible, I know, but for some of you out there, it's definitely gonna happen. So um, if you want like distance, then you'll definitely wanna stay tuned. Hey, this is Steve with HitItLonger.com. I'm on a journey to hit it longer and straighter off the tee. That just means continuing to improve my swing so I can hit it with more power, more fairway, more greens, because that's just what makes the game fun. If you agree you want to hit some more fairways, greens, and hit it for a lot more distance, then please join us. Hit the subscribe button, like this video at the end if you got some benefit, and of course, I hope you leave a comment down below. All right, so this simple move I'm gonna show you is something I've been using more and more lately with my private clients in order to trigger more body turn, more shift of weight, and get more speed out in front where it belongs. You see, the fastest part of our swing, if there was no collision with the ball, would be about 30 inches out in front of the ball. So we're, no, we're not trying to reach our fastest speed at the ball, Although technically, because of the collision slowing the ball down about 30%, just before impact really is going to be our fastest speed. But our intention is to keep accelerating and speeding up out in front. That's going to enable us to use a lot more of the big muscles of the back and the rear end and the legs. Get our chest around the corner. That's going to make our club go a lot faster. It's going to fix all kinds of other issues as well. So. What I've been using as a trigger with a lot of my students is what I call the finish line concept. So if I were to lay a ball down here and I've got a three wood up off of my left instep. So if I were to put the stick, oh, let's say maybe right in the middle of my stance like this, you can call this the finish line. And so we know in a well sequence swing that the shift of weight and the turning of the chest is going to be out in front or should be way out in front of the strike. You're not going to strike the ball and then turn. A good golfer will turn the body and then strike the ball and that's going to give us all kinds of good benefits. So if you pay attention to the finish line here you'll notice which parts of my body cross the finish line before the club head. Well number one going to see my knee, if I've rolled on the inside of my foot correctly, my knee is going to cross the finish line. In fact, my entire thigh all the way up to my right hip will get across the finish line all before the strike of the ball. So the more body parts of the right side that you can put across the finish line, the better. The ultimate, of course, would be if it could, you could get it to feel like your right shoulder was also across the finish line at impact. That would leave you striking the ball off the side of the body, off the hip and the thigh, and very opened up. This is really going to allow you to get your speed out in front. Now, one of my favorite tools is the Speed Wish. You can find these on my website if you're so inclined toss that away. Um, I'll do a couple swings with this, focusing on putting the swoosh out in front and getting as many body parts out in front. But what I've been noticing with my private students is that they were never getting their swoosh far enough out in front until I encouraged them to get across the finish line with the night right, especially the right knee and the right thigh. That's a good starting point. So let's take a look at a swing where I swing and swoosh out in front. We'll come back and do the slow-mo treatment. You'll be able to see which body parts have crossed the finish line before the club has reached this golf ball. Here we go. All right, so those are good strong swings. Taking back and looking at it in slow-mo, you see how my right knee has poked across the finish line and my right thigh has also come up 
and just gotten across the finish line. In fact, my right hip is approaching the finish line and my, as is my right shoulder. So it may be just a feeling that all the entire right side of the body is getting across the finish line like a, you're at a horse race or a car race and this is the bad guy, that's the favorite, and you're trying to beat him to the finish line. That'll put the swoosh way out in front. Really gonna turbocharge your swing. All right, so let me take a couple swings and I'm hitting a three wood uh, off the turf at the moment. Uh, we'll take a look at them in slow-mo again and we'll see what we see. All right, again, just like with the speed whoosh, um, now my actual swing may not be quite as exaggerated as I was doing with the speed whoosh, but you're still seeing the right, whole right side of the body, all the, uh, the right side body part, starting with the knee. It's really driving through the gap here and getting out in front of the finish line. The right thigh is getting there. The right hip and the right shoulder are almost there at the moment of impact. So that's what you're gonna work on if you wanna get a little bit more speed out of the swing. This is really gonna encourage you to fire through with the big muscles of the entire body. Hopefully this will get you a little bit more distance. Hey, thanks again for watching. I'm Steve. I hope you'll check out my website, hititlonger.com. Thanks again to Golf Development Complex in Moore Park, California for supplying the beautiful day. And as always, I'll either see you in the next video or I'll see you longer and straighter down the fairway. Take good care, everybody.